every tenant, every tenant needs to listen to this, every agent needs to listen to this, and every landlord needs to listen to this. What a wonderful article written in the Australian Financial Review, and I suggest that at the moment, one of the best bits of 10 bucks a week you can spend is actually getting a subscription on that, because you might want to educate yourself as best you can on uh, economics. I think it'd be far better to read than some of the uh, other stuff that's written out, but it's the Landlord's Guide to Sen Surviving the Pandemic by Neela Sweeney. This article's been uh, published today. Now listen to me very carefully because there's a lot of misconception out there. For some reason, and I know why, because bloody Scott Morrison in that broad speech said there'll be no eviction for six months. He didn't say in that speech, he didn't say, hey, you're still liable for the rent. Hey, you've still got a contract. All he said was, hey, you won't be evicted. Now, what has the average person done? taken that as being, hey, guess what? I can do anything I want and I can get away with it for six months. That is not correct. You have a contract in place. There is a contract between a tenant and an owner. And that contract says that the weekly rent, whatever it is, 500 bucks a week, two grand a month, right? Multiply that by six months. That money is payable during the term of the lease. Now, in this article, Property Inventors, Investors Council of Australia Chairman Ben Kingsley says, landlords should hold off, should hold off reducing or foregoing any rent until the government releases more details on rental relief. We're telling investors that any landlord who decides to reduce rent is potentially impacting their claim if rent is unpaid in the first instance and also potentially putting at risk how much they will receive if there is a tenancy relief package announced by the federal government in the coming days or weeks or months, he says. Anna Porter goes on to say that while landlords wait, wait for further guidance from the government, it is a good idea to do a budget to see how much it will cost you to hold the property with reduced or no rent over six months. But listen to me very carefully. Kathy Bakos, the president of the Real Estate Buyers Agents Association, says investors need to realise the monitorium does not allow tenants to walk away from their obligations. This is what hasn't been explained clearly. By now, you should know that. If you watch the video, if you watch the video that I did with Lisa Jamison two days ago... Uh, which has had uh, 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 like 300 shares and, you know, hundreds of thousands of views, that video. Can I say to you that you watch it? But most importantly, if you're an agent here, do not, do not put your landlords at risk by going into a negotiation as yet and doing a drop rent. Like to me, you know, you're going to have to learn the art of negotiation. I mean, maybe at the end of this, one of the things that you will do is actually extend leases for any concessions that you make. But at the moment, I wouldn't say that. At best, at best, all you should be doing right now is looking at a payment plan with not reduced rent, right? And what you should be doing is getting tenants to come into your office or holding a Zoom meeting with them, then giving you all the necessary paperwork to indicate what their new circumstances are, you then comparing the new paperwork with the original details you got when they applied for a property. This is not as simple as someone ringing up and saying, hey, guess what? Can't pay the rent. I was My massage parlour's closed and it ain't working. Hey, doesn't work that way. Hello, you have a contract in place between a landlord and a tenant and someone's going to be 
obligated to meet their requirements at the end. And quite frankly, if you're watching this as a tenant right now and you think to yourself, I don't care, I can't get evicted. Well, let me tell you, you don't want to have legal action taken to you and you definitely don't want to have a blacklist against your name because it might affect you in future properties you're looking at. Won't affect you, definitely will. So guys and girls, absolutely get your facts right before you go off and you put any of your parties in jeopardy. Signing off.